Hi, my name is Corey Folkstra, and the other day, I went to the park, and I walked around because you need to have exercise. Then all of a sudden, I found a ball on the ground. It was, uh, um, my cat's outdoors right now. She is just catting around. But this ball is a very special ball. This is really hard and it bounces. But here's the thing. If you were to throw this at somebody and it clunks them on the side of the head in a certain way, you kill that person, I bet. That's what I'm guessing. So this is the world's most dangerous ball. They don't make balls this size. And I got home with my brand new bouncy ball that I've been... Uh, yeah, bouncing around because I found it laying on the ground at the park. Well, I also was playing a video game after that, and it was called Monkey Ball. Monkey Ball, or Super Monkey Ball, um, on my Nintendo Switch. So... What I did was, I played so much Monkey Ball on Nintendo Switch, I just said, I just looked at my rubber, huge rubber ball, and I wondered, hmm. And I looked at a permanent marker, and I don't know if this ruins the ball or not, but... I made it into a monkey ball. <laughs> it's not the same monkeys as you would see in the video game. But I just draw this by looking at a book. I was uh, um, tracing it from a book. And this is how it turned out. You see, that's the monkey. And that's the banana. Banana. Monkey. And I named this ball, Real Monkey Ball, The Real Monkey Ball of Doom. Because this monkey looks kind of scary on this ball. And you don't want to get hit by this ball. It would really hurt. If I throw this at somebody, it would only be because, I mean, it would only have them catch it catch the ball but in case of emergency like i'm at a bank or a gas station and it's being held up as a robbery um to defend myself away from these bank robbers or thieves i would shoot this ball just chuck it in them and then try to hit them on the side of the head so that they fall down and pass out. This is how. They don't make balls like this. In. Uh, um, these are not your normal balls. I found this laying on the ground. And I was wondering. Hmm. This is pretty cool to have. A bouncy ball. It's not really a tennis ball. It's not really a badminton. Whatever the fuck it might be. It's not really, uh, it might be the inside of a baseball, but this isn't a baseball anymore, or softball, whatever it's called. It's not any of those things. This is my monkey ball. This is monkey ball. I've drawn a monkey from a permanent marker onto this ball. And it's really cool. I always wanted a ball that um, had a picture on it. Or just having it have stupid gay 
colors. Why not just put a picture on the ball? Like a monkey or a unicorn or something. So I drawn a picture of a monkey on this ball. Now you're wondering is, what the fuck am I talking about this for? Well, this is just a chapter in my own life. Okay? I went to a park to um, just get exercise. And I came back with treasure, a ball. This ball is very important. Okay, because I drawn a picture of a monkey on it. It's not the same monkey that's from the video game. Monkey ball. But this came from the whole idea of the video game itself. Like, if they used... If they were to make the monkeys in the game all detailed and and stuff and the bananas, this is probably how it would work. Maybe. I don't know. I gotta go. Peace be with you, brothers and sisters. I'm back. So...